Hello, my charmed ones, and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today, I'm setting up my planner for Q3, and I thought you'd like to follow along, so let's jump right in. The first thing I do when setting up my planner for the new quarter is I clean my binder. So I use a leather cleaning wipe for this and it works really well. At the end of the year, I might do like a deeper clean with a leather polish, but these Meguiar wipes have worked well for me for years. So they're pretty much my tried and true. So I'll just go over the entire binder and then I will set it out on like a paper towel to dry while I work on getting the rest of my planner set up for Q3. And this binder is a Chanel desk agenda cover. I have an entire video dedicated to luxury planners and binders. I will leave that link down below for your reference because it answers many of people's questions about this and other high-end planners. So while the binder is drying, let's go ahead and get my inserts ready for Q2. As many of you probably already know, I have my own online shop where I sell print-on-demand inserts. So I actually print and cut and punch my inserts at home for the new quarter when I need them. And for those of you who are interested, I generally keep a quarter of my year in my binder at a time. And that's just for two reasons, really. One is for space, because my binder isn't the thickest, right? I can't actually keep like tons of inserts in my planner for a full year. So I keep one quarter at a time. But another really amazing reason why I think a lot of people should be using just a quarter of inserts in their planner at a time is because that gives you a 90 day focus, right? So having a full year to plan out can be intimidating. It can be overwhelming. But if you're just focused on what you're accomplishing for the next 90 days, that can be so powerful. So if you have the ability to maybe adjust the inserts that are in your planner, I highly recommend doing a quarter at a time. That doesn't mean that I only keep a quarter like very limitedly. Like I do have a few inserts that do help me map out the full year, but having the quarter has been really great and it keeping me focused at what I'm trying to accomplish. And for those of you who are interested, I am using my month on two pages from the Charmed Life Master Plan system for 2022. And I'm also using my weekly agenda inserts that I call my CEO week on two page inserts. Now, interesting things about these is that they're not actually openly available for sale for 2022. They were a test design that I was trying out this year and members of my Charmed Life Mastermind got that file to be able to test the inserts out with me. But good news is, is that for my 2023 planner launch, I am going to add this option for this CEO week on two pages into the master plan system. So you will be able to actually purchase this week on two page layout if that's something that works for you. It has been working amazing for me so far. And just a little side note too, I also pulled out for myself my ideal day and ideal week insert, which is what you can see on screen right now. And here I'm just kind of pulling out some extra things I need to set up the month. I need a scissor and I have also my print on demand tabs, right? So I actually have like my own tabs that I print out onto sticker paper and I will put them on my pages. I used to love using dividers, but again, for the sp sake of space in my planner, dividers just take up too much, too much room, too much like of the girth of the planner goes to the dividers. So I started developing these printable tabs and I have a whole set of them. This is actually my two-toned set, which again is right now only available for the Charmed Life Mastermind members. But spoiler alert, when I launch the 2023 inserts, I'm going to give them as a bonus as well, and then also make them available for sale for anyone who wants to purchase them. So that is what I'm doing right now. Just lining up the tabs, folding them over on themselves. I do use repositionable sticker paper, and then I just kind of chop off the little white bit at the end to, the, to create that nice like squared angular look on the tab and i absolutely love these tabs i think they're so beautiful so chic so easy to use and if you stick them down and you don't like how they're laying you can you can pick them up they are repositionable when you use repositionable sticker paper um so i even use these sometimes year over year. I know it sounds silly because I can print them um, new sets if I want to, but I often <laughs> reuse these stickers. Um, maybe not all of them, but they really do hold up. It's actually kind of shocking that they will hold up for an entire year. So 
that is what we're doing right now. And I'm just trying to find a place <laughs> to put that ideal day and ideal week insert because I do like to create a new one of those, um, an ideal daily and ideal weekly schedule at the start of every quarter. Okay, so I've now blurred these next clips. I'm so sorry because we're actually doing the same thing, changing my inserts over from Q2 to Q3 for my business plans. So I'm pulling out my business planning blank inserts for Q3 out of my auxiliary binder, which is that Louis Vuitton desk agenda. And I am populating those into my planner. So I did blur these shots just because there's business plan information on there, but I'm basically doing the same thing. I'm essentially taking out the old inserts and putting in the new ones and swapping out the little tabs because in my print on demand tab set it does have um, these tabs for the CEO planner as well in there so I have like my monthly and my quarterly business plans and I reuse those tabs because they're reusable and repositionable here we go okay we're back to clear vision here and you can see the inserts that I just um, changed out I'm just gonna go through my planner right now and just pull out things that I'm not happy with like a little vellum divider and I also have my little um, clear pocket in the front that I always I don't know about you guys but I like to keep my clear pocket in the front to like be decoration and like inspiration and I'm always fiddling with the little pieces inside making sure they like line up perfectly so it's really kind of sad that this is like probably <laughs> a big chunk of my video just sitting here watching me fumble around with the decor but I really love it when I see these pieces like in my planner when I open them up lining up it just looks so beautiful and now we can go ahead my binder is dry so we can go ahead and assemble everything so we'll just go ahead and slide in my disc bound you know the the meat of the planner and then I can take my pretty little decor items and kind of rearrange them again in the front pockets. I wish I was one of those clever planner girls who changed up her pockets more often, but I get so into like one aesthetic and I really have a hard time changing it. So when I find what I like, I stick with it. And this to me is pure, beautiful bliss, like absolutely gorgeous. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and do all of those YouTube things. Like, follow, subscribe, share. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this setup and what's crucial in your setup for Q3. Check the description box for any links, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!